Hey guys, Zero Link, welcome to a tutorial. Today's tutorial is on a banner. I already created one of these before, but um, a, a tutorial on this, but it wasn't very good, so I'm gonna redo it. Uh, probably a little bit more better, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is download a little template thing like this. Uh, just go into your Google and type in YouTube banner template, and this just shows you where you can uh, what, what shows up on what and you know what you're working with. Uh, after you've done that, you want to create a new layer by clicking the uh, button down here. Um, you might not be able to see it because I might have something covering it, but hopefully you can. It's right next to the rubbish bin on the layers panel at the very bottom. Click that to create a new layer. And you just go up to your marquee tool. And uh, this is just going to be so you can see what you're working with. You're just going to scroll in by holding Alt and the scroll wheel, and if you want to use your hand to move across, just hold down your space bar while you're doing that. Uh, so just scroll in until you can see the pixels, and then start dragging towards the bottom corner. If you want to speed this up, hold down Shift, and uh, hopefully it should speed it up like this. And just make it all the way down the end. Uh, there we go. And oh, I forgot to make it to the bottom. And do that. Then what you're going to want to do is uh, click Control Zero just so you can zoom back out all the way. Then click D on your keyboard, then click G. It might automatically go onto the gradient tool over here, so just right click on this icon here and go to Paint Bucket. And just click inside this area here. It's just going to create a little border. And then you're going to go back to your marquee tool, drag it up to the top part of the screen on that part, click G and do the same. So you got that there, and the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this texture here that I have, let me just put it above here. Um, this will be down in the description if you want to download this, uh, you can use anything you want really. But I'm just going to use this for the moment. Then the next thing you're going to want to do, if for some reason it wasn't working for me before, but uh, you can uh, do control U to bring up your hue and saturation, is this going to work? some reason it doesn't want to work for me probably because it's only black and white the picture so if that doesn't work for you um, you're gonna want to go to the side here and pick a nice color this is gonna be the, like the main color of your banner I'm gonna go probably with a nice green that might look good um, yeah so just pick a nice green make a new layer again so like a G so back to your paint, uh, paint bucket tool and just click on the screen. I should fill it in like that. Then what you're going to want to do is uh, go up to this little thing here and this is your blending options. No, it's not your blending options. It's, I don't know, I can't, can't remember what it's called. Um, I will later. Uh, blending modes, there we go. Um, yeah, you're just going to go from normal down to overlay, select that. Then go over to your opacity here and just drag it down so it's not too bright on your face but it looks good I'm gonna go probably around 40 around here uh, that, that seems good then you're gonna want to create a new layer hit D on your keyboard this just changes your colors back to black and white here uh, you're gonna want to click B on your keyboard as well that brings up your brush tool and you're just gonna want to make sure you select your brush with your harness at zero and just make your brush fairly big I don't know why I can't see um, what it's going to look like. Um, usually you'll get like a little circle that shows how big the brush is going to be. For, for some reason I'm not doing that. So you just want to make your brush about 800 size. Then on this new layer here, I just go on the sides and just brush it in a little bit. Like that. Try and make it even on both sides. And just lower down the opacity quite a bit. Uh, this just brings a little effect. Uh, so it just kind of focuses you more in the middle. Uh, you won't really notice it too much, but it's nice to so just scroll. Uh, zoom back in if you want to. Uh, the next thing I'm going to want to do is probably add your text. This is the main part of your banner. Click T on your keyboard. Now the font I'm using is called uh, Code. I'm using the bold um, version of the regular one. Um, yeah, the link to this will be down in the description as well. Uh, all of this stuff will be down in the description. Then you're going to want to click on the screen just in the middle-ish and just 
I don't know, type out the name of your channel. Uh, I'm just going to go with uh, Aero Stink because I'm a small hero link. <laughs> yeah, one of my friends will really get that. He will love me for that. Uh, so you're going to want to do that right there. The next thing you're going to want to do is uh, do I still have this copied? Because it might make it easier. Paste. Yeah, I do have it copied. Um, yeah, just double click on. Yeah, don't worry about copying that, pasting that, because you won't have it. Double click on the the layer, and this will bring up your blending options. It will most likely look like this here. Then the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to click on gradient overlay. Make sure you click on it, and make sure it's ticked there. You're going to want to. Oh crap! What did I do? Okay. Uh, double no just click on there don't double click and make sure you don't do that and you're going to want to click on this color here and double click on that as you can see here um, this color here is bright and I'm going to click and getting caught on Skype I'll just close Skype right now that might be smart <laughs> and um, yeah this is a brighter color here and this is a darker color so whatever your color of your uh, banner main color is just do a similar color to that Make sure this is a bright green and make this one a dark green here. Yeah, I'll do about there. And it should, if you click OK, it should look like this. Now the next one you're gonna next thing you're gonna want to do is put an inner glow on there. So you click on inner glow. Uh, you're gonna want to put, put your opacity on hundred noise down the zero your color should be white and just put um, your size on five make sure you check on zero and 50 I think most of this is default except for the size and then you're gonna also want to go to your drop shadow this just adds a little shadow you're gonna want to have a uh, 70% or a hundred I'll just do a hundred because you can't really see it too much uh, you're gonna add a little uh, no distance onto here uh, put your bread spread on about 20 to 25 and your size a little bit higher maybe 5 10 ish 10 starting to look a little bit too uh, I'm just gonna tinker with this a little bit uh, yeah so I'm gonna do about 7 there whoops just bumped my mic um, yeah so I've got 7 spread and 65 size and that should be it really for your text there so you're just going to want to hit OK on that and uh, you're going to go back to this layer here uh, that you did the sides parts on and you're just going to click B on your brush again oh there we go there I can see the outline of what I'm going to brush B and uh, just ch change the size of your brush how I'm doing this without going up here and changing it is I'm just hitting the square brackets on my keyboard and then you're just going to want to go onto here and just brush over the back of that. That creates more of a drop shadow. Um, yeah, maybe let's do it a little bit bigger. About in the middle of that, I would say. Okay, that looks all right there. I'm just going to leave it at that. And the next thing you are going to want to do, uh, this is pretty much your main body here, actually, anyways. Um, you could leave it like this, but I'm just going to do quite a few touches. It's a pretty simple. Oh, yes. One thing you're going to want to do is make sure your text is centered. So click Control, uh, go into your text layer, Control A, and then go up to Layer, Align Layers to Selection, Horizontal Centers, Layer, Align Layers to Selection, Vertical Centers. That just centers your text. Now, you might need to readjust what you're, on, uh, what you're like on here. Um, the text shadow thing. So just zoom in. Oh, whoa, well, what the heck was that? And just, yeah, make your harness and move down that. And just, yeah, just get rid of. Oh, crap, that's not working. Um, there we go. Just, yeah, just, just brush over it again. That shouldn't be too bad. This is better than what was happening before. Alright, so now you've got center text and that. Now, you're going to want to grab everything, don't worry about that texture, that's something I'm going to use later. Uh, everything except for, except for this, uh, yeah I'll show you. 
uh, yeah, that thing. Just um, maybe just check, make sure everything your text is inside this first square here. Let me make it a little bit. This first little rectangle here, because that's what everyone's gonna see. And want everyone to see your name. Um, yeah, just hide that if you want to. And uh, so you're gonna want to put your text layout, the color, the texture, and the little extra black things. You're gonna want to put that into group, into a group by selecting them all by clicking Control on each of those, or clicking on the top one and then going to the bottom one and holding Shift and then clicking. Then you can do Control G. This is just gonna merge it into a group. You're gonna want to uh, duplicate this group by clicking Control J. That duplicates that. Then you want to click Control E, which is merges all the um, all the layers inside this group here into one layer here so if i hide that layer you got you can it's pretty much just one layer there then you want to go on this top layer make sure on this top one that you merged you want to go up to filter blur and gaussian blur and uh, just make it a nice kind of blur so what you're gonna what we're gonna do here is that the uh the background is going to be uh, slightly blurred out don't worry about the text we'll fix that up in a moment uh, I'm gonna make it maybe about six, uh, six pixels blur, and uh, that looks about good. So I'm gonna click OK. Then you want to click E on your keyboard for your eraser. Then you're just gonna want to make it a little bit bigger. Make your hardness on zero. Make sure your opacity and stuffs on full. And then just brush over your text and whatever other things you want to not be blurred I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger here and just there you go you got that in there um, I'm just gonna do something like that so your text is not blurred and uh, most of the background is blurred the next thing you don't want to do I probably should have done this earlier but it doesn't matter too much uh, you just want to click uh, create a new layer and uh, go onto your brush um, by clicking B, go down here and make sure the color is white by clicking that little thing if you clicked D earlier. And um, just make your brush a little bit bigger, make sure your hardness is on zero, and just do a little, a little dab up here. Um, not the dab you're thinking of, but uh, uh, maybe about that there. Um, like that. Uh, let me just. That uh, just don't look good. Um, yeah, just lower down the opacity a bit to about, uh, I'll make it round it off for you guys, so 60%, um, yeah, that should be easy there, uh, I'm just gonna actually, this is that one, right, yeah, I'm just gonna center this by the same way as last time, just so it's perfectly centered, control A, layer, align layers to selection, and you just wanna go do horizontal centers, that's the only one you wanna do, look like it was pretty much already centered, so, um, yeah, that's good. It just creates a little lighting effect there, if you uh, want to say that. If you want to add, um, create a new layer, you can add, make this a lot smaller, your brush, and just add some little, I don't know, dots on your text, if you, if you want to do that, just to make some of it stand out a little more, I would say. Um, and then, I don't know if you want to add one here, and here, and here, and I don't know, there. Um, yeah, make sure that's on a new layer, and just, just turn down your opacity on that one. Just make little highlights on there. Uh, you can't really notice it too much, but, um, if you come in here, you got a little bit of a highlight on there. Looks like the lights are bouncing off there a little bit. Um, we're pretty much done with this banner, really. Um, there might be one more thing you want to do. You just want to, uh, with all those layers you just uh, recreated, just go onto this uh, layer here that was originally your blur layer. Select all them and, and Control E to merge them together. That merges that all together so it's easier to work with. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Filter, Other, High Pass. This just makes everything stand out a little bit more. You're just going to want to, actually no, you're going to want to do this on a new layer maybe. That might be better other high pass or maybe not uh, okay 
back to where we were before. Don't worry about that high pass stuff for the moment. Actually, we're about to do it in a sec. Control J uh, to duplicate that one, this layer again. And then you want to go filter other high pass. There we go. And he's going to want to do it. Yeah, do, do nine pixels. Click OK and just turn down the opacity a bit. Uh, this just makes everything stand out a little bit more. Uh, you got a little bit, yeah, of extra stuff just coming in here. If uh, you want to say that. That's pretty much it for the banner. Um, if you didn't enjoy this video and want to see more tutorials, uh, leave a like. And uh, if you have any ideas for tutorials, leave them down in the description. And uh, yeah, if we do hit 15 likes on this, which, uh, I don't know. If, if enough people watch it, um, I will uh, give the download link to this exact uh, Photoshop document I'm working in, but easier to edit to your liking. Um, so pretty much a template for that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, bye, I suppose. Bye.